Hello Catherine, so I've created an Excel file just with one sentence in it, just so I've got a couple of these um, backslash ends in there. Close that. I'll go to my, I've, this is Studio 2019 by the way, so hopefully the same version as you. I go to my options, to my file types, then down to the Microsoft Excel 2007-2019, which is what you seem to be using. I'm going to just browse here and select that Excel file because then I can preview it. So with the defaults, if I preview that file, you can see that what we get, sorry, it's opened it on the other screen, is this, which is obviously not what you want. So if I just enable this, I add a rule, add a single placeholder, like that, and just say OK without doing anything else, and then preview the file again. You see, it's quite a good way to check things. You can see that's picked it up. First one has disappeared because it's because it's the if it's the if it's at the beginning of the sentence or the end of the sentence, Studio by default will exclude it because it will assume it's not needed. If you want those tags to be there because you might have to move them around, um, then you can if you come here and go to Edit on that rule, and then click on the Advanced and this time say Include. Okay, you say Include with text. Let's say OK. Okay, preview it. Then you see it will always include them. So then if you needed to, for some reason, adjust the text and have the tag somewhere else in the target text, you can do that. If you didn't need it, and if that was actually a break and where it broke were clear sentences, then I suppose you could use the exclude as I suggested. Looking at your example now, I'm not so sure the exclude is a, is a good idea. Um, the reason I suggested it was because it was a break and so it, it, what that does if you preview it it will exclude them completely and you end up with two separate sentences for each but it might not be applicable here because you've got to translate the two halves in two separate places so it might not make make sense for you so you probably for this particular rule want that to just be may exclude and that's probably annoying it keeps going on the other window it, and that's probably what you're looking for but test it in that way because if that works then you know the rule works and if you're not getting a result that works then that tells you that you're creating your project with a template that is not include the changes and so then what I suggest you do is click on OK maybe go to file setup project templates have a look and see how many you've got in there and make sure that one of these is not the one you're actually using and if it is you need to go into one of these if it was that one for example you go into there edit it and then change the rule in here because you can see although I made the changes in the other one it's not been changed in this template so this could be the reason why it's not working for you anyway I hope there's enough information in that video to help you if not just post uh, come back and post a question